sacrifices for this content. Um, but today, by the way, I am the bro part of the hero. This is pretty early on in our ASMR journey, so I, I guess I should keep saying that. But, um, yes, I am. this um dream that you had about being 
sucked into a sand hole as a lizard. And, um, you, you, um, you're all sweaty and stuff like that. Now, you get up and you, um, you go to your mom, um, Teresa. Your mom's name is Teresa, but they call her Terry. You go to Terry. Mama Terry. And you're like, Mom, I had a scary dream that I was a lizard that got sucked into a sandal. And Mom and Terry's like, what? That sounds like a dream where you were sucked into sandal into a lizard that sounds so scary and you're like well Tony was like yeah and your mom's like wow and so she hugs you and she's like well it's not a dream anymore um snookums so you know go back to bed and Tony was like well mom it's like 8 a.m. I have school and mom and Jerry's like oh yeah go to school and catch the bus and so Tony gets ready for school and catches the bus and then on the bus he sits behind the school bully and the school bully turns around and he's like and he's like well isn't it Tony the Smoney and everybody on the bus laughed at you calling you Tony the Smoney and you're like what is a Smoney and shut up Smoney and then he like hit you and you're just like ow that was a punch and that hurt me um you're gonna regret that um big zeal his name is zeal and yeah then um cut into the training sequence Tony trains for 10, um, how many years? 12 years. Yeah. So Tony gets, like, all big and buff. He takes some Brazilian jiu-jitsu classes, and, um, he, um, he's all big now, and he can do Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, so he's, like, ready to fight. Um, but at this point, um, you know, big deal, you know, lived his life, you know, he was a bully, so he ended up, um, dropping out of high school at sophomore year, and, um, yeah, he didn't live a great life, but he tried to turn it around, um, and so he started doing community service work, and, um, he found the one he loved, um, Samantha, so Zeal and Samantha, um, are together, happy, you know, he, he's trying to get his GED, you know, he's really, really turned around, but, you know, um, Tony never forgot, you know, what fueled his, um, his training, um, was being punched that day on the school bus, and, um, so, one day he felt like he was ready enough to, um, you know, fight back after 12 years, um, he was ready to find Zeal, and so he, um, went to Facebook and looked up Big Zeal, um, and sure enough, um, Zeal's Facebook name was Big Zeal, and, um, he had a picture of him as a 12-year-old, and so, Tony was like, that, that's him, that's, that's the guy, and, and on another picture, he had a, a video of him showing his house and saying, yep, this is my house at 123 Vic Street Avenue, um, in, oh, in Arizona, no, no, they moved to West Virginia, but they both moved to West Virginia, so it was okay, so now they're in West Virginia, and, um, so, says himself, you know what, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to Big Seal, it's time, I'm ready, and at this point, um, Big Seal, you know, he felt like his weight got away from him, and so, he did a Weight Watchers program, and he actually dropped a lot of weight he had, he just felt like he was comfortable, and, you know, body positivity, um, and all that jazz, um, and so, If you were to call him Big Zeal, it would not, you would ask like, why is he called Big Z? 
seal. I mean, I guess he's like 6'1", but he's not really, you know. So, um, yeah, so Big Seal wasn't as big. But, that didn't matter to Tony. Tony gets to Seal's house and he's like, Big Seal. And Seal turns around and is like, no one's called me that in 12 years. And Tony's like, I'm gonna punch you. Just give me like 